People have been practicing yoga for thousands of years, and it is still attracting new advocates, especially those in the medical profession. There is no doubt that it has a lot to offer as we attempt to reach a higher level of existence. Yoga is not a religious practice. Nevertheless, it does put us in touch with our spiritual essence. The original Buddhist yogis practiced yoga to increase enlightenment and enhance their understanding of the world around them. Yoga was a preparation to meditation. The origin of yoga was far more spiritual than it is today, but it still enhances our spiritual self. Yoga improves our immune system, heart rate, cardio health, circulation and breathing. It reduces stress, anxiety, and enhances flexibility and muscle tone. The benefits of yoga can reduce the effects of aging both physically and mentally. There are many types of yoga, some easy, some gentle, while others are extremely demanding. They all provide benefits, but we should choose the yoga that is best for us. Nothing about yoga should be painful or forced. If you feel pain or discomfort during yoga practice, talk to your teacher. You are either doing the exercise incorrectly or you're in the wrong class. There are many classes from which to choose, so you never have to settle for one that makes you feel uncomfortable. Yoga poses affect our entire body as they stretch our muscles to the limit. Unlike other exercises which may focus only on certain body parts, yoga poses involve the body as a whole. That is why many consider yoga superior to aerobics or weightlifting. Of course, aerobics and weights can be practiced in conjunction with yoga for optimal physical benefits. Yoga connects the mind with the body to create one functioning unit. We are well aware of how the mind can affect the body and our overall health. Negative thoughts can cause serious diseases and inflammation such as arthritis. The purpose of yoga is to clear the mind of negativity and bring optimal health back to the body. Never forget that the mind and body work together. Use the following rules as the best way to approach your yoga sessions. Everyone has his or her own starting point, so don't worry about weight, age, or flexibility. Your poses will improve with practice, but it should never be a competition with the rest of the class. Finding the right teacher will make a big difference. A good teacher should answer questions and never force poses that are beyond the student's capability. If this is your experience, find another teacher. Many people begin yoga with certain expectations. However, everyone is different. You may never be able to do a headstand while the rest of the class appears to do so with ease. That's perfectly okay. The only rule in yoga is to work at your own level of comfort. Nothing should ever be forced. Start slowly. People practice yoga for decades and are still striving for perfection. There is no perfect yoga pose. There is only you, your body, and your mind reaching ever higher levels. Before you begin a yoga class, check with your doctor. Yoga movements are safe and injuries are rare, but you still want to ensure that there's nothing to prevent you from practicing yoga safely. As we have discussed, ancient yogis used yoga to prepare the body for their meditative practices. To get the full physical, mental, and spiritual benefits of yoga, make meditation a part of your life. Yoga can add so much to your life and can help you become a better vision of yourself.